Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my next astrology sign and that is Taurus the Bull. So if you're interested in seeing how it's done, just keep watching. Starting with the bare face, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to dip into my Ardell Brow Powder Kit and use the darkest shade and just fill in the tail and any sparse areas of my brows. And then taking some concealer, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my Elizabeth Mott Bank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to set that with some translucent powder. For this look, I imagined my wing liner going all the way to the top of my head. So I'm just using the teensiest bit of gel eyeliner and I'm just tracing out those lines just to map out where they're going to be later on. Jumping to foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220 and apply that all over my face and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and highlight my under eyes and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. This is where the fun part begins. I'm going to take some red eyeshadow from my Morphe 12P Picasso palette and I'm going to place this everywhere you would contour. So your forehead, your cheekbones, and your jawline. It may look a little patchy when you first put it on, so just keep blending it out and then eventually it'll be alright. <laughs> So now I'm taking this black from the same Morphe 12P palette and I'm adding this around my hairline and in the deepest parts of my cheekbones and I'm blending that in with the red just to deepen it up a little bit so that the red is not just one dimensional. I'm going back in with more red to blend the black and the red together, that way there's not just a harsh line from black to red, it will blend seamlessly into one another as a gradient. Now going in on the eyes, I'm going to start with a basic wing liner, and then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take it from the tip of the wing and bring it all the way up to my hairline. I'm also going to extend the inner corner towards the bridge of my nose. To deepen up that line, I took some black gel liner and just went over it again. And then I decided that it wasn't dramatic enough, so I went over it with some black eyeshadow and then I blended it out with some brown eyeshadow. I also used some brown eyeshadow to smoke out my lower lash line. 
And again, I decided that the eye look wasn't as dramatic as I wanted it to be, so I took some more black eyeshadow and I applied that all over to the lid. Taking some ColourPop Gel Cream Liner in black, I'm going to apply that to my waterline and tight line my upper lash line. Now for my lips, I'm going to use this Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the color Heathers. To prep my eyes for falsies, I'm applying my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then for lashes, I'm going to apply the Ardell 600 Blacks. To add a little something something to my lips, I'm going to take this NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Bronze and add a line on the bottom lip. I also added a fake septum piercing just to add more to the bowl-like effect. So this next part is kind of up to you. I just kept adding designs all over my face until I felt happy with how it looked. I didn't really have a plan on what I was doing. I just kept adding lines and dots and yeah. I used um, some Snazaroo black face paint and the brush already had some white on it. So there's some white streaks as well but I didn't mind it so I kept it. I also made sure I added the symbol for the Taurus zodiac sign. for this Taurus inspired makeup. Like always, tomorrow I'm going to post a wearable Taurus inspired makeup, so stay tuned for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me some comments if you have any questions or if you have any ideas or any makeup looks that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I love you guys. Bye-bye. Does it look patchy? No. I can't tell. Cause in person it doesn't, but on camera I feel like it looks patchy. And I got shit in my eye. Hey, listen to this. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> now she don't want to talk. Hey Siri. Siri. Well, I'm so impressed. <laughs> hey Siri. <laughs> What's my name?
You're bad. That's what you told me, anyway. What? Hey, Siri. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah. Say my name. Say my name, say my name. Why is it not working? Say my name. You're asking me, bad. <laughs> I now pronounce myself Princessa of this household. What a queen of the lit. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what the f? <laughs> Oh, that's for good to bite. Like, don't do not you get good to be bitten though. Yeah, but do you like? Do you ever get bit? Or like, okay, Chloe always bites my arm, mm -hmm. and he just says it feels like a good stress or whatever. But me and Chloe like bite each other's arms for like, for, for like relief. <laughs> no, but it really feels good sometimes to bite. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I really Yeah, we don't use um question marks. And we don't eat anything with gluten in it. I want you to play with my dingling, my dingling, 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 my dingling.